The shop is finally back open, but the door is locked. This is what reopening looks like for Jeremy Regan. The longer we are away, the less likely this place stays. Um, unfortunately for a small business, cash flow is everything. With limited staff, he's just covering the bills. Working under stringent conditions, everyone wears a mask. Clients can't even wait inside. I think people are so damn desperate to get a haircut that they're willing to almost do anything to be able to come. While Manitoba's reopening is wide-ranging, its practicality is limited by physical distancing rules, as most places restrict access and hours. You're getting served on a patio in Winnipeg. <laughs> There's your special. Example, for now, restaurants can only open patios. So that is the red line from Toll. Good enough for Kathy Teetart. I'm happy that things are opening up. I'm just hoping that people will be compliant and, and follow the rules so that we don't have to take that step back again. And that warns the province is a possibility. Uh, it needs to be noted that this is not a return to normal, uh, that this is a gradual and cautious uh, reopening of the economy. But many businesses say they just aren't ready. Masks and gloves are in short supply. Some don't feel safe. None of us have enough equipment to go around right now. It's, it's kind of insane. So no, not normal times. But with apprehension, there's also pent up demand. I don't think I have any, any openings for the next probably four weeks right now. Now, should this all work and the infection rate remains low, Manitoba could lift even more restrictions by the end of the month. Cameron McIntosh, CBC News, Winnipeg.